Okay, folks, we're back again. So this is the second video out of a three video series on laying out signs. So the one I did before was that Steinhaus tap room with the beer mug on it. That's the one we just did. So now I want to do something a little bit different. This is actually an eBay order that I just got. And um, this guy has, he wants seven signs and these are our little uh, three by 12 ribbon signs. You know, it's actually the same pattern as the one that goes underneath the, uh, the live to ride sign. Um, so he wanted seven different ones and these are all, I think he said these are like the seven peaks or the seven, seven, Summit. seven summits. That's what it was. And then I, you know, and obviously a few of these are mountains I've heard of. Some of them I haven't, but I, I'm not really into mountain climbing. But anyway, so uh, he ordered seven different signs. So again, like I did on the previous video, I went ahead and printed this out. So number one, I know that I've got my copy correct. Number two, uh, again, for you guys that are, aren't real um, familiar with how these letters lay out, now we're going to use, uh, rather than the custom layout letters like we did on the last one, these are just our standard Clarendon letters. But again, they'll, um, they'll be laid out pretty much the same. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to swing around again, and Dad's going to film over the top, and I'm going to lay out a couple of these signs and give you guys an idea of how I go about doing this. Okay, so so the first thing that I've got to do, I've already pulled some, some of these letters out. The first thing that I've got to do is determine what size letters I'm going to use. Now on these little boards, I have the option of using one inch inset letters. These are all going to be inset, by the way. Um, one inch inset letters, or I actually even have a three quarter inch letter if uh, the one inch don't fit. So what I've already determined is, and what I need to do is make sure that I pick the longest one because I want all of these the same size letters. So whether it's the shortest one or the longest one, I want to make sure that all the letters, that all of these signs match each other. So Kilimanjaro is 11 characters long. I'm going to lay that one out and I know if that one will fit, then the, I know the rest of them will fit. So I'll lay this down, get my glasses on and hopefully dad, you can follow along. So the first thing I've got to do is I've got to determine, I've got to get my lines on the board. Now this one is a little bit different than using a square. What I'm going to do is I'm going to set the, the letter right in the center of the board this way. I'm going to take my pencil and I'm just going to draw a pencil line like that. You want to show them how you're guiding it with your fingers yeah, on I'm the edge of the board? Yeah, I'm guiding it with my finger. I wasn't sure whether you were catching that. So this is writing on the edge of the board. I put that where I want it and I'll just follow the edge of that board and that will give me a line to go by. So now I'm going to move this around and I know actually these already fit because I did this before. So these are a one inch inset letter. So I'm going to get uh, Kilimanjaro Get all these letters on there. It's going to be tight. But again, this is the longest one. Now this one I don't even have to measure because it's pretty much going from one end of the board to the other. So eyeball is plenty good, good enough on this. And again, these are inset letters so I could really even carve these when they were all, when they're even touching each other and still have room to get uh, to get them carved on there and have them look good. So that's that's basically it. So then I K I L K I L I M A N J A R O. So I now I know that that layout is correct. I'll make sure that everything is square, everything is consistent spacing all the way through. I've got pretty much the same distance at both ends of the board move these out of the way and we'll just spray that and then I'll use the same technique that I did on the last video again these are little one inch letters they'll fly on you pretty easy if you're not careful so again the three ways to make sure that you know you give yourself the best chances for them not to fly what do you what do you shake that can for what 50 uh, shakes? well I just laid out a sign a little while ago but you really should shake it for about a minute when you first take it off the 
shelf or out of the fridge or whatever you're going to do. So, um, yeah, shake it up for a little while, but it's, it's pretty much shook up just from the last sign I laid out. So, the three, remember the three reasons um, that give you the best chance for them not to fly. Number one, keep your ink cool like I did on the last video. Number two is your distance from the board. Start high and work your way down. And number three is short spurts. So there I, I kind of hit it, but it was kind of a long ways away. So I can bring it in a little bit and just nice short spurts. And take your time. You don't have to be in a hurry on this. And that's, that's all there is for that one. Got that done? Got it. Okay, so Looks now, good. so now, um, you know, I can, I can mark that off. The next one, I'll just start from the top and I've already put the letters out here. So let me, let me again, draw that line on the board so you guys can see it one more time. So I'm just taking my, my finger here. I'm going to set this eyeball it right in the center of the board. I'm going to take my pencil there. Now I'm just drawing my line. So now when I set those letters on that board, they should be pretty much centered. E V E R E S T. So now, being as this one's shorter, this one I'll use my tape measure. I'll come in, uh, let's try two and a half, and two and a half, see how that measures out, that'll be about right. A little fuzz on that thing. So once you get the hang of this guys, it's really simple to do, it just everything is just kind of balanced and measured from end to end and sometimes you you balance things off of the line that's up above it but sometimes you can go straight from the end of the board too okay e v e r e s t So now I'll just continue this. I don't need to lay them all out. You guys, I wanted to do a couple of them so you guys could get the idea. And I'll just continue this process. You got seven of them there yeah. that you're going to do then. Yeah, so I just got, you know, five more beyond this. But that, that pretty much tells you guys what you need to know as far as um, how to keep those little letters from flying. So um, now we've got another, uh, a little bit bigger sign that we're going to do. So we'll do that uh, on the next video.